Hey everybody, Pat here from West Corners Custom Cycles. Welcome back to the Underground Garage. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank everybody for all the uh, comments, for all the likes. Uh, definitely want to thank all you subscribers. We're trying to grow the channel here all the time and uh, view hours and subscriptions seem to be a big deal with that. So thank you very much. Uh, if you want to be a member of the Underground Army and you don't want to miss any of the content that I put out, by all means hit that subscription button. Uh, ring that bell, get all the uh, notifications when we put up a new video so you don't miss anything. Uh, if you haven't been here before, I do videos on restoration and customization of motorcycles. I also do how-to tutorials on things that you can do to customize and or fix your own motorcycle. So, this video this week is going to be uh, the beginning of a video series that I'm going to do on a 1975 Harley Davidson Sportster. Um, I picked this thing up about two years ago, uh, tore it all down, built it back up, made it look really cool. Uh, right now it's all done, mocked up, ready to go. I got to get a couple of things painted on it. Um, I'm going to run the video series. I think there's six or seven videos. So I'm going to run a video every week for the next six or seven weeks on the process of going through the bike. Uh, you get to see how I did it, what you know, changes I made along the way, and how it turned out. And by then, hopefully, the paintwork will be done, and we can do a premiere video where I do a walk around, and you guys get to check it out, complete and done. All right. Without any further ado, let's get to the video. Everybody, welcome back. Pat here from West Corners Custom Cycles. Welcome back to the Underground Garage. Um, I got a 1975 Sportster here going to be a new build I'm going to start. We're going to get it all tore down, rip it right down to the wheels and the frame just like everything. Um, build it back up, make it look pretty. I picked it up for a thousand dollars, needs a lot of cosmetic stuff. Does start and run. Uh, like I said, don't buy bikes, don't start and run. Not unless you're a mechanic and you know what you're doing because if not you're going to spend all kinds of time and money searching that out and you don't want to do that. You just want to be able to do a, a quick easy build make it look cool and either flip it or ride it, keep it, whatever you're going to do with it. Okay, let's uh, take a walk around this bike. I'll show you how it came, everything I want to do to it, everything I want to take off of it, and what my intentions are. Okay, this is the bike, 1975 Sportster. It was nice, somebody put some, uh, looks like 12 inch apes on it already and ran the wires through the handlebars, so that saves me from doing that. Got a K&N filter on it. Uh, them pipes, these pipes are pretty ratty. One's wrapped, one's not. So we're gonna have to pull them off and either uh, wrap them, replace them, customize them. I think I might cut them and customize them. Uh, these forward controls on here, I'm not real happy with. Somebody kind of hacked them on there. And I'll show you when I get up front that uh, they're pretty crooked. Right down here, I don't know if you can see it, the uh, rear brake switch is held on with the uh, zip tie. <laughs> so we're going to have to do some uh, some things with that. Somebody painted this back rim. I can show you around the back here. Spray painted it all black, spokes, rim, hub, everything. That looks like ass, so that's got to go. This was the uh, tail light and license plate bracket that they had on there. It's a piece of aluminum and a trailer light that somebody screwed to the fender. Came with these two seats on it. These two seats do not belong on here. This one is off of a uh, newer Sportster, probably mid-80s or late-80s. Um, but I'll show you. This is coming off those are coming off you can see there's a bunch of wiring that needs attention just hanging out and going everywhere so we'll get all that all tucked away these rear fender struts are actually tweaked and bent and they're on the wrong side of the frame you can see up here they're supposed to go on the outside of the frame so we'll get that all taken care of the shocks are 14 inch shocks leaves a an immense gap between the top you know the fender and the top of the wheel so we're going to drop those down probably lower it at least two or three inches um up here like i said these four controls i already took the linkage off here and uh 
when I got it, this ignition switch and horn switch were not on here. The ignition switch was on it, had a key broke off in the ignition, and uh, so I had to replace all that. No, it's not stolen. I do have the title. Coming up front. This fender here is bobbed in half. Not crazy about that, but I do have another one. We're going to replace the uh, turn signals all the way around. Uh, as you can see, I was showing you on this uh, forward control, they're, they're not straight. So I definitely got to show some attention to that. I don't know if this was laid down and bent that way, because the one on the other side seems to be straighter. So we'll, we'll get that all taken care of. I have a chrome rear rim that I'm going to swap out for it right here. I pretty much have all the parts for this one right here in the garage. So I'm going to try and get this one knocked out. My goal is in a couple of weeks. So we'll see how that goes. I already have tank, fender. I have... Uh, you know, like I said, everything I need for it. So, that's the next build. It's hotter than blazes here in upstate New York today. Uh, it's June 8th, 2021. So, I'll keep you posted, and we'll see how long it takes me to get this one done. I'll post all the videos for you guys on everything I did to it. Um, I'll do some progressive videos along the way to show you where I'm at and, uh, you know, the, the route we're going. So, again, live life behind bars. Keep the shiny side up. Be good to each other. I will catch you all on the flip side. And have a good day.